a customizing the gunpla cannot be separated from plastic plate or what we usually call pla plate. In this video, I will tell you some of the function of the pla plate as well as tips on how to use the pla plate so that your mode's result will look better. What I'm going to show you are the basic concept of using pla plate because by knowing the basic concept, it will be easier for you to develop the design and improve the result of your gunpla modification. So keep watching until the end. Custom build will pla plate with us, Alice Kingdom. Some function of Puppet are for reshaping, add detail, and scratch build. If you know other function than these three, tell me in the comment below. In this video, I will focus on reshaping and adding details only. I will teach about scratch build on other video next time. First example of reshaping is adding the length of part. This is the original shape and this is after the custom reshaping. First make sure the surface that will be customized is easy to put together with the pla plate. You can sand or file it until it has flat surface. Prepare some pla plate with the width is equal or larger than the intended part. Cut the length at least the same with the part. Glue the pla plate on the part and give another layer of pla plate until you get the desired thickness. By doing this, you can set the desired thickness in the same section by calculating the pla plate layers used. Don't forget to adjust pla plate position and wait until dry. I know this is not looks good. That's why on the next step, we will trim the unnecessary pla plate to achieve your desired shape. You can use any means necessary to trim the pla plate excess. For rough trim, I just use my nipper. Then files for smoother trim. If you don't have something like files, you can use rough sandpaper such as 100 grit and use something flat as a sandpaper base. We already finished trim one of the surface. Do it also on another surface. I draw first the shape that I want to achieve. Then trim by following the pattern. Don't forget to follow its original shape including the bevel, so it will has natural look. And this is the result. Of course you can use this technique on other purpose such as custom the proportion. Just use your imagination. If this example we don't need to cut the pla plate precisely. Then how if we need to cut it on precise pattern? Second example of reshaping is totally changing the shape of the part. For example, from this to this. This is how you do it. 
grab some cheap masking tape yes the cheap one because there's no point using the expensive one put it on one side of the part you want to custom draw the line along with the edge of the part Then draw your desired design, something like this. Next, put the masking tape on the plaplet and cut by following the template. The thickness of plaplet is depends on your need. For something like this, I suggest using 1.5 or thicker. And we have two plaplets from template earlier. Files or send the edge to make it flat, so it will be easier to add other plaplet on it. Then glue them on the part intended, one on the right side and the other on the left side, something like this. Now to fill the hollow part between, prepare plaplet with the width is greater than the gap. We will put this on the surface first. Don't forget to make sure the surface that will be glued are flat so it has stronger bond between the plaplet when we put it together. Glue them together on one surface first. Then remove the excess. You don't need to be precise on this. We can file or send the excess later. And do it again for other surface. If you already close all the gap with plaplet, file the excess. One important thing that some builder often miss is, don't forget to make a bevel on the edge. It will make it natural and blend well with the original part. That's the basic concept of reshaping with plug plate. Depends on your imagination, you can make your gunpla has cooler looks, something like this or this. Even more complicated shape, this concept will be useful. First example of detailing with plug plate is something like add a little strip of plug plate, like this or like this. If your plaplet don't has any bending section or a simple one like this, I will tell you how to do it in easy way. Prepare plaplet with your desired size. Basically, you can pick the small size of plaplet by using tweezer, but sometimes it gets really hard and the plaplet occasionally fall, and it will ruin everything including your mood. This is how you do it. Prepare some blue tag or tag all or whatever its name. It has consistency like a bubble gum and will stick to everything. Put it on something like toothpick and use it to pick those little plaplets. Put some glue, then put it on the part. Press a little, and voila! 
the small guy will be more attracted to the glue size. Remove the glue excess if there is any. And I suggest you to cut the corner of the plate to make some bevel. Bevel is good to make it natural and remove completely the impression of plate. I also usually scrape a little on the edge with hobby knife to make a small bevel. Hmm, neat. For the next case, what if your puppet has a bend section like this? This is how we do it. Again, prepare puppet with your desired size. You don't need to glue puppet by two step on this side and this side separately. You just need to glue the puppet on this side and bend it by following the part shape. Okay, let's do it. I use super glue for this case. Put some glue on the plug plate tip. Place it on the part. If you feel the plug plate already make a bone with gunpla, bend it. Add glue for another side. Then you can remove the plug plate excess. Remove the glue excess if there is any. And again, I make a bevel on each plug plate corner and edge. Easy. Second example of detailing with plug plate is by add another layer of armor on original part, like this or like this. As you can see, this kind of detailing need precise and exact pattern. This is how you do it. Just like on the reshaping case, prepare some masking tape and draw the line following the part. and draw your custom design, something like this. I do apologize for this unnecessary line. So I will cut the plug plate by following this design. You don't need to cut it precisely on the outside part. Because it's better to have an excess than deficit on it. Don't throw away the template. You can use this for the other side too. Remove any cutting mark if needed. And test fitting on your part. Do any means necessary if there is any miss on the ship. I think this is looks good now. 
Now let's glue it. This is after I glue it. As you can see, there is some excess on the side. Well, you can remove it by the same method I mentioned for other case. If you want, you can scribe on the edge to make the impression this is a separated part. And that's how you reshape and detailing with Plaplet. If you want to see more application of Plaplet, you can see some of my custom work for inspiration. So what do you think? Easy? Or not? Tell me in the comment below. I also make other tutorial for Gunpla, please check if you have a time.